Hello to this quick overview video of VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.6, which is now generally available and brings many new features. Let's start with the Tunnel Appliance High Availability. As you know, the Tunnel Appliance is responsible for handling all the replication management and data traffic. In older versions, only a single Tunnel Appliance was supported to be part of the setup, which was considered a bottleneck by many. In 4.6, we address this concern by enabling High Availability, which is made possible by deploying a second Tunnel Appliance. The two operate in active-active mode and require an external load balancer. This design might also positively impact the performance of the appliances as the traffic will be balanced between them. Please note that this architecture is only available for VMware Cloud Director Clouds. Of course, we have several improvements to vSphere DRN migration too. Now you can create recovery plans to define the failover order of the replicated VMs the same way it is done for VMware Cloud Director Clouds. Also, you can set bandwidth throttling to enforce traffic limits on a specific network interface of the tunnel appliance. And there is a public API which was missing before. We also enhanced the already existing VApp template migration to support template modifications. Now VMware Cloud Director Availability can check for template changes and perform an automated migration if one is detected. Based on the chosen settings, it can overwrite the existing template at the destination catalog or create a new version and keep the old ones as well. Along with all mentioned, we have also improved product management and operability. For clouds running VMware Cloud Director 10.3 or later, VMware Cloud Director Availability 4.6 now supports replicating the DHCP service on VApp isolated networks, routed VApp networks and their VApp network services. So VMware Cloud Director Availability will no longer convert routed VApp networks to direct with all the network services removed. The same is valid for the isolated where DHCP support is no longer dropped. There are also some enhancements to the recovery settings leading to a more consistent look and feel for all available cases. A global setting now can control whether guest customization is activated or deactivated for all new replications. It can still be overwritten through the recovery settings of each replication. Auditing is also improved with several new events added to the VMware Cloud Director audit trail, such as logins, logouts, settings, changes, clients configuration and more. The notifications also get refined as the email channel is extended and can now be used for all available events and activities, including replication-related information. In addition, both tenants and cloud providers can subscribe to receive a weekly activity summary via email. This report can also be generated by the cloud providers directly from the UI. Check out our blog for more details about each feature. Thanks for watching.